Welcome back, Brown with Owen. Brown out with me again is Doobie. Young Pills, Vanilla Daddy Vanilla. Lime. Vanilla Milla, part two. Daddy Lime? Daddy Lime. Where'd you get the name Daddy Lime at? I don't think I know the story behind this. So, there was a time me and one of my boys were just roaming around in the desert. In the good Daddy old sting. Lime. Vanilla Milla. In the sting. You remember the sting. Yeah, dude, this thing was the whip. We pulled up on this abandoned silo. You know, we're, we're in our teens. We're checking shit out. <laughs> we hop up in that thing, and there's a bunch of spray paint going all the way up it. Oh, the graffitied silos by the river or what? Mm-hmm. And I'm looking, and I see this, this one that's green and yellow. It's got a lime, and it just says, Daddy Lime. And I'm like, <laughs> yo, that's fucking tight. So I threw it in my Insta bio and for a while. <laughs> people were calling me Daddy Lime and nobody Daddy knew why. Lime. I did not know that's where it came from. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Big old booty and you know she taking lungs. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know where that's from. Ooh, that's funny. It's, it's my funny. Ocean Flow dog. Ocean Flow. Nah, me. <laughs> All right, Shower Thoughts Part 2. You ready to get Vanilla Miller? Part two, baby. All right. When you press shuffle on your playlist and it plays the songs you're thinking of, that's one of the best feelings ever. Is it not? It might be the best feeling ever. That's one of the best feelings ever. When you have certain songs implanted in your head and you're like, fuck it, I just want to press shuffle and it plays those songs, especially when it keeps playing those songs. Could you imagine... If there are some headphones that could, could like, read your mind. Yeah. and you know, we, we're, already, we're already reading each other's minds right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it, it's not even like you're actually thinking of the songs. It it's just, just like going deep in your fucking. It can just tell by like your vibe what you're trying yeah. to hear in that moment. Like how, like how your mood is. Isn't it about one of the worst feelings is when you press shuffle. And it plays all the songs you don't want to hear. And it feels like you're just always, like, the, your whole destination, you're just skipping. Especially if you're on a short drive. Yeah. Exactly. That's got to be the worst. <laughs> you, you spend your whole drive just skipping. So, are you a Spotify guy or Apple Music? I'm a Spotify guy. Me too. So, I used to be a, you know, when I was younger, when I was an adult, I was a SoundCloud all the way, you know? Because I do, like, I do have SoundCloud, I still do, but... I'm a Spotify guy. You know what's tight about SoundCloud is all the unreleased shit. That's saying I like the the underground part of it. For example, if if, getting led on to like Trippy Red before you was exactly. big yeah. was insane. Like listening to him without other people listening that's to him. A, that's was how so I was with better. the. That's how I was with Sob. I listened to them underground on SoundCloud. Fucking Sob, dude. Yeah. And if there's ever a song you can't find on Spotify, you'll find it on SoundCloud. Is that where you found Juice? No, I I first heard of Juice. I was on a... Maybe it was SoundCloud. Or maybe just on YouTube. All I know is the first time you played me a Juice song. Yeah, that was like before he was big. It was like, it was like right before he was big, big. I was like... I don't want to hear Post Malone. I thought it was Post Malone, bro. <laughs> I think I remember that, yeah. And you, everyone was like, what? I don't want to hear this crybaby bitch. I was like, what? Isn't that Post Malone? No, no, it's Juice World. I'm like, who the that fool. fuck is Juice World? Sure enough, like a year later, he's literally know, my right? favorite artist. And yeah, then it's crazy how it just happened so fast. Year two after that? Happened so fast. Gone. Shouldn't have. It's crazy. Yeah, no. You you must have been hurting when that happened. Yeah, it was crazy. I still, I haven't gotten it yet, but I need a tattoo of a nine nine nine. But I want to get so on on top of this knee, I want to get X X X, and then on top of this knee, I want to get nine nine nine. That'd be bad. I want to get some shit for Kobe. So I, I listened to X too before he like he was before he died. He wasn't big, and then he died, and then then he became big, just like everyone else. Like, I hate that when people don't. Like, listen to people. Isn't it crazy to think that, like, most rappers will make more money 
after they die because once they die, their like views and publicity goes up. My prime example is Pop Smoke. I exactly. didn't Pop listen Smoke. to him until or like he died. King Von or like Nipsey. Nipsey, bro, that one yeah. was tough. That was a tough one. Kobe was a tough one too. That that's, I gotta get a tap for Kobe. I feel like I feel like I was I was pretty butt hurt, but then when I found out that his daughter was with him, that shit hit. That's what really hit me different. That's what like, really Because that was the one child of his that played basketball. That really, yeah, she was like really into it. Like if he would have died and she would have stayed, we could have still seen glimpses of him for a while. Because his other daughters are a lot more like the mom. Yeah, definitely. She was pretty much spitting image of Kobe. She definitely was, yeah. Rest in yeah, peace, Gigi. Rest in peace to the... The king. Alright. Let's switch subject here. Yeah. <laughs> getting too getting too sad. Alright. Shower thoughts. Tobacco companies kill their best customers and condom companies kill their future customers. Imagine Bruh. that. Think about it. Don't advertise too well. I know, like what if they were so successful that they end up just running themselves out of business? <laughs> it's literally a possibility. <laughs> it, huh? Here's what I've always wondered. If I personally was running a tobacco company, wouldn't you try to make that shit as healthy as possible? Yeah, but I don't think that... I think... But it comes down for them probably the money. They don't care about the people. They care about the money. I think they're... They want short money. Short money is bad money. If you want long money... That's true. That's true. If they want long money, they'll do it right. Yeah. But when you got enough short money, it is long money. That's but the they thing. want that fast and instant gratification, so they do the short money. They don't care about the future generation. No. Even though I feel like with condom companies, what if like the government took control and like made it a population control thing, and like you had to wear it? I could see times like that. Because we're getting pretty overpopulated. Maybe that's what they're using COVID for. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Where did it come from? What caused it? Oh, we have no idea. I've heard plenty of speculation. Oh, yeah, there's speculation all over the place. I, I like South Park's take on it, but uh, we're not <laughs> going to talk it. about that. I love how South, South Park still to this day can get away with anything. Yeah. Like, people will try to cancel them, but there's no canceling South Park. Especially in like the society we live in today, exactly. with everything the cancel culture being yeah. so politically correct. The fact that they've kept their shit everyone's up. so sensitive. Yeah, it could be. I think it's population control. But do you think? Because isn't it like in China right now? You can only have like a certain amount of kids. Yeah. I they think have, you like, can only have two at the max. I'm pretty sure it's probably one though. I think it's one. I think I think it's one of each gender so that brings me to a question you have two boys do they just fucking murder him on the spot i know like like, what like i don't know that's crazy bro there's so there's so much people in china though it's gonna be ridiculous and japan huh (laughs) that little fucking island jam oh it's it's pretty small oh another family on top of that one another family that's crazy Compared to, like, Alaska, bro, have you seen, you don't realize until you look at it, have you seen how big Alaska is when you compare it to, like, half, it's, like, almost half the size of the United States, and there's only, like, two highways in that bitch? It's half? Almost? It's, like, almost half the size of the United States, I feel like. You really don't realize that until you, like, look at it. So, like, do you think it's, like, pretty much, like, the size of California to Texas, kind of? Like yeah. in that whole square, pretty much. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty, pretty, yeah, I think so. Pretty close. Yeah, I'd say almost California to Texas, almost. So you that live... brings me to. Okay. Go. Uh, I was Go gonna say you live in Oregon. <laughs> I'm in Washington. Yeah. The light schedule's different from Cali, there, huh? Oh, it's so different. Oh, it's crazy. Could you imagine Alaska lighting in time? Oh, that's probably. So I did. So when I went and worked in Alaska, we were there for two weeks. And, um, That's right. I forgot about that. I think it was like dark for five hours and the rest was light. 
It was Aren't insane. You sleep? Yeah, no, I was in. Yeah, I was. Calm. I was in a sleeping bag, bro. Over your head, it's the only way, and it, huh? And it was crazy because I was there during the summertime, and it was so hot during the day, but cold as fuck at night. That's crazy. Yeah, and it was weird. The lighting was weird, dude. The when I was walk, like when you're walking in the forest, it felt like you're walking on a sponge. It was just like the like the grass. It was like spongy. It was insane. That it was must interesting. be tough. It was like, cool. Like as far it wasn't as that bad. I know, but like trekking through, yeah, like that trekking. and all that gear as a firefighter, like. Dude, and we saw a moose, dude. Like moose, like if you think a moose is big, just wait till you see it in person. It's like. Holy cow. That's what I've always heard. <laughs> you don't realize how big moose are until you yeah. actually see one. I only saw one when I was there, but it was huge. Yeah, so back, yeah, so like, hold on, I'm going to bring us back for a second. Back, I don't know why my mind keeps bringing us back to this. It's funny, just the population control. Do you think there's, um, do you think there's a higher, do you think it's like government's controlling, controlling it or like someone higher? Like you could believe in like Illuminati or like the 1% controlling population. So, like, you can call it what you want, but you can't picture it. Yeah, you can't. There. It's, it's there. It's there, but you just can't put a picture to it, huh? There's... Because this this how you know there's something there. Uh, you can fact check me on this, but, like, another thing crazy, like, I think it's Antarctica is the only place in the world where every country has a treaty. Like, why there? What are they hiding? With that much ice and snow... You're telling me they ain't got nothing underneath there? My ass. <laughs> you think there's something under there? If y'all can go to space, you can go under the ice. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not as cold. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bro. You like conspiracies like that and shit, huh? Yeah, no, I, I fuck with conspiracies. Rick and Morty's gotten me onto a lot of shit like that. I said, yeah, hold on. So that's like a... So you could be like... I like conspiracy theories, but like some like there's like some hidden conspiracy theories like you think rick and morty might just be a tv show but no yeah that goes deep huh the universe powering the universe inside yeah. the universe powering a bigger exactly, one bro. like so the last the last episode i've watched actually i need to catch up but the last one i watched is they're uh on the train and it's that simulation mm -hmm. and it's like yeah like how do we know how do we know we're not inside of simulation right now but like yeah. you said you're, are you talking about the episode where, like, it's a box and then they power, there's a box that's powering, like, a base or, like, the world and this world is powering? Yeah, basically Rick made, like, a universe inside a box that they, they were supposed <laughs> they to make do their, something to make power. And they and they make their own box to provide their power. Yeah. And it's like a box within a box, huh? And then that box made its own box. And it's like, <laughs> how do exactly. we know? How do we know where we fall in that timeline? That's my thing with, like, extraterrestrials. They're probably already here. They're probably controlling <laughs> no, they're what's gonna... going on uh, now. That's probably who they were saying, like, they're probably the ones who are... That's the secret society, oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's a secret society right there. That's Illuminati right there. Who knows? Do you want to hear a shower thought? Let's hear another shower thought, Miller. Maybe we are all extraterrestrial. And uh, just a descent many, or what? many, many thousands of years ago... A planet or many planets were being destroyed far out and they sent a bunch of offspring out our way so we're just like a mix or do you think or do you think we're like a hybrid i mean we would obviously have genetically mutated in ways since then but i think i don't know there's definitely something above us that made this because it's not like there's nothing really to explain it, though. The Earth just don't happen, you know? That's just... Yeah. Yeah, but who who really knows? There's no... You never really know. We, we can't go back that far. No. I do. This isn't one we can necessarily elaborate on too much. I mean, maybe we can, but... <laughs> That's fun. Imagine this. Eminem's mom comes out with mom's spaghetti sauce. She'd get fucking rich off that. Bro. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> bro, if I went to the store and I saw mom's spaghetti, bro. Mom's spaghetti. I'm buying the shelf, dog. I don't care what it tastes like. Just I might just <laughs> keep it as like a mom's spaghetti. Like have like little M and M's pastas. 
That's staying on the shelf, my guy. <laughs> that's staying on the shelf. Bro, that dude, Eminem's mom doesn't have to do that. You could do that. That's a million dollar idea right there, Millie. Maybe we should do it. That's good. That's smart. Hey, don't steal her idea. That's Rowan awesome. with Owen's mom spaghetti. <laughs> Coming out in twenty twenty two. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> Actually sounds pretty good. I want, I wanna throw up on my sweater fucking mom spaghetti. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Eat some mom spaghetti, get way too faded, vomit on the sweater already, too easy. <laughs> Sell the sweater. Wow. Yeah, no, Yeah. Yeah. Dude, what if do you think that's real? Do you think Eminem actually has a sweater with his vomit of his mom's spaghetti? You know, I feel like if that sweater exists, it's already been eBayed, you know? Yeah. That's got to be worth a lot, though. It's framed in someone's house, right? Yeah, I mean, let's yeah. put it this way. There's creeps out there that buy Gamer Girl bath water. If that exists, uh, you think someone's not buying mom's spaghetti on the sweatshirt? Come I would buy it. If I was a millionaire, I'm buying that for sure. Oh, yeah. 100%. All right, people who are good looking, all right, hold on, backstory, me and you were talking about thumbnails before this call, mm -hmm. talking about thumbnails are like, like a key ingredient to YouTube videos. Super key. Clickbait. Yeah. It's right? kind of so like, let's... if you're swiping right on Tinder, you're looking at that picture first yeah, before you picture. read the bio. You want to, you want to see if you're like intrigued. All right. So people who are good looking but have terrible personalities are basically a real life clickbait. Facts. If you meet, dude, I've had I've had a story. I went on a date with this girl, bro. Uh huh. Banging. The dullest personality I've ever met in my entire life. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I I left. I spent like five minutes and I was gone, dude. I was, could not. <laughs> was this a girl from back home? No, it's no one you know. Okay. Because there's a girl back from where we're from. I dated her for a little bit. What? And like, let's just say, same shit. <laughs> super dull personality. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of people think like, maybe this is just me. You gotta be able to like have conversations over the phone pretty You gotta decent. be able to hold the conversation. Over the phone and in person. Yeah, you gotta be able to Yeah. <laughs> like if I got a girl just texting me like Dry as fuck. That's a okay. huge turn off. Cool. Oh uh, dude the one ply the one the one sentence replies or the one word replies I mean are the worst. Biggest least, turn off. At least write a sentence. Holy shit. Yeah. At least fake it. Come on. Especially if I just took time to write something. Like, don't disrespect me like that. Come on. Yeah, especially with, like, the guys we got to think, put all of our mind into the first line, the, the pickup. I mostly use my driver's license to buy stuff that impairs my driving. That's very interesting. <laughs> Take your driver's license, ever, walk into a dispensary. Exactly. I never use my driver's license for anything besides things that I'm not allowed to drive with. Let's put Beer, it this way. Weed. I've never been pulled Whatever over. You can buy. So. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Hold on. Let's together. Knock on wood. I've never been pulled over in my life, bro. I mean, I've been like pulled over. I've been, <laughs> I've been in a car that's been pulled over. I've been pulled over like on my on foot. I've been like stopped. But, but I've me never, myself like, as a driver. Never been pulled over as a driver. I've never had to show my ID to a cop. Yeah, I mean, neither, dude. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So the only things my ID's been used for <laughs> fuck with my driving. Yeah, it's to drink. It's for me. You know, I smoke a bit, so it's both, but... That's fine. We don't frown upon that here. Nah. All right, so I got a question for you. There's another thought I've been thinking of. Do dogs, like, understand mistakes? So say I wake up in the in the middle of the night, and I'm going to take a piss. Mm -hmm. I fucking trip over my dog. Bro, I'm going to kick that fool. I'm like, oh, fuck. Does he know it's a mistake, or does he think my sole purpose was to wake up in the middle of the night and kick him? I truly think 
due to like domestication and how close dogs are with humans they have to have some form of awareness of shit like that but do they think like do they think that we're like they might think that like we're king but do they think the world like revolves around them they don't really know an outside world besides what they know with us do they think like oh my human went to work oh my human come home to me this is my house or do they know like fuck he left me i'm home alone i don't know See, that's a different story with cats, bro. Cats are fucking kings of the world, dude. They go do what the fuck they want. They don't. I think cats. I think cats are like little aliens inside that thing, dude. There's no way that's. Real. Cats creep me out. <laughs> My landlord crazy. has a cat that lives in this house. He doesn't live really? here, but his cat does. That shit trips me out. <laughs> cats are trippy. Yeah, I've never lived with a cat till now, and so really, I'll wake up at night and just hear just mob it around the house yeah just full speed in the pitch black i'm like yeah they don't care yeah they do what they they do what they want when they want where they want what i want when i want i go where i want to go <laughs> that's kind of dope that's why i like i kind of like I, i'm a dog person but i like cats better if that makes sense I don't know. I think I'm more of a dog person. I just, I, I feel the connection there better. That's what I'm saying. I'm a dog person, but I like cats better because of how independent they are. Cats in the wild. That's a different story, bro. For real? Like a bobcat? I think I'd rather run up on a single coyote than a single bobcat. A single coyote will try to get you back to the pack. Bobcat don't yeah, coyote, give a fuck. Coyotes are small though. Yeah, bobcats are fucking. Dude, even a house cat. Dude, have you ever been attacked by a house cat? Those things are crazy. It's like Rey Mysterio, all of your ass. Bro. <laughs> Rey Mysterio, you bitch ass. Good over here. <laughs> Yo, Rey Mysterio, bitch ass. That's funny. Vanilla Pilla. There's no way to record your inner voice. You're the only one that hears your inner voice. You ever dude? Th- I heard. I heard there's some people that don't have an inner voice. I believe it, because you know what I always say? There's two types of people in the world. People who pay attention and people who don't. Yeah. And I I feel like the people that... You know what I'm talking about when you've seen someone who's just clearly, like, just unaware of their surroundings. Empty, empty-minded, yeah. It's and like, then you got the... For me, bro, I got the little voice in my head telling me what to do, you know thinking about everything and obviously there's different extremes on both sides but i i do feel like there's certain people in the world that like they have little to no like inner monologue yeah dude and like fuck hamster on a wheel the the (laughs) thing he's the thing my fucking little guy says in there too is some crazy sometimes (laughs) Uh, i don't remember what comedian it was but he said something to the extent of if a girl could hear the things that happens in a dude's head every day, <laughs> they'd probably just off themselves. Oh, yeah. I also saw this, Uh, I think it was a meme. It was like, if someone were to get a hold of like our, our the boys group chat, we'd all be in jail. <laughs> Dude, we do some, we, we talk about some pretty gnarly things in our group chats. <laughs> yeah, at times. Yeah. The simple humor we have. We're just, dude, men are simple human beings. We are. We we could entertain ourselves by throwing rocks in a lake, bro. This is true. We don't need much. We don't need much. You can give us like the littlest things and we'll entertain ourselves. That was good. Thanks for coming back for episode two, even though we did it back to back. Of course. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I definitely wanted to come on from the time you told me you were going to start this podcast. I do want to head up there in person at some point. but Yeah, it was good to get you on here over... Uh, over a call, but yeah, we'll get you in person eventually. You'll Hell be yeah. back on. You'll be back on. Hell yeah. Eventually. That was good. This is the, this was Brown with Ellen. Thanks for listening, man. Here with me was Doobie, Vanilla Milla. Go ahead and check out this video right here. Go ahead, subscribe. Let's go. Peace out. Like and subscribe, bros.